What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our second training guide for the free Brazilian legends that we're going to be getting, right? So whichever ones that you get, obviously you could be lucky and you could get Romario or Zico. I've already covered Zico. We are going to be covering Romario now today and we could be unlucky and get Bebeto or Elber. Elber, Danielson. Danielson's not bad, but Romario and Zico, I think with Ronaldinho and Carlos are the picks. Now, as I mentioned in the first episode, if you haven't gone back and watched that of this series where we're going to be reviewing the nine players, training guides for the nine players and talking their strengths and weaknesses and giving you the best recommended builds for them, you do need to have a couple of... I suppose you do need to ha like realize that these players are not as good as the Epic or the Legend players that they've released with eFootball, even with eFootball 2023 as we have now, because of their team play style. So I mentioned that in the first episode, go back and have a look at that if you haven't uh, already watched that. You know, you've got Romario who's got possession game, 70, quick counter and ball control, or long ball in 70s and then out wide 65. So that's something that you need to keep you know, in, in mind when you're training up these players. And it does kind of limit them a little bit, right? They're still monsters, man. You can still turn them into monsters. But Romario straight off the rip. I think personally Romario is the best center forward in the game. And I think by a good bit. I think obviously Mbappe is a beast, but I think Romario has won me more games than any other player in, you know, the last... 15 16 months he's just been an absolute monster for me um even when i was playing with him at the very very start and in pez 2021 as well online so when we look at romario here his strengths lie in his directness he's bringing other people into the ball into the play and literally when he gets a sight on goal he's kind of like mbappe man he's just like a smaller more mobile version of mbappe without the blistering pace but just have really good balance and attack uh, awareness offensive awareness so when we are looking at his player skills here he does have long range shooting acrobatic finishing and first time shot which with the boosts to uh, and the buffs and the boost 2v2.4 that is obviously going to come into its own i've scored a lot of goals where i've literally just uh you know double touched a little one and then outside curler or else you know get the ball into the box and he's able to head even though he's a small player he is still able to get on the end of crosses and stuff like that you know tap in some rebounds so when we are training him up there is kind of only one way i would recommend training him up I, i'm not even going to give two options because you only have 14 progression points right Firstly, I would say pick whichever clean play style that you have and put him to 80. Now, I was out wide and I only popped one into uh, out wide, but I would probably pop two into out wide to bring it up to 85. Have minimum team play style 80, depending on how you play, right? So if you are playing quick counter or long ball counter, have it at 80. That's going to leave you with 13 points, which we'll get to in a second, right? Now, when we have his card here, we're going to take a look. I think personally speaking, 85 is enough finishing to start off with right let's just leave that at that for now passing we don't need much passing he's not going to be passing the ball around the place or carving open defenses when you get the ball at Romario's feet you're going to either be touching and going or else you're going to be taking a shot after a touch or two and shooting on goal that's what you're going to be doing you don't need to him him to be Modric or De Bruyne you don't need him to bring other players into the game with his passing it's more direct simple stuff that you can do and with the way the game plays man at the moment you are going to get a lot of interceptions and bobbles around so you don't need to waste points on this low passing yeah if he had 18 levels to go we could pump in the passing a little bit to bring it to 76 but there's no point right so we're going to leave that now dribbling is an important one especially for this card we're going to pop three into dribbling to get his tight possession and ball control up over 85 so 86 and 87 the dribbling there for 83 is going to be important as well we might revisit that in a second dexterity so this is where the card is going to really shine right it's tied and linked offensive awareness and dexterity and balance all on 88 in this card which is pretty decent we're not going to worry too much about his stamina we're going to give one into that to bring it up to 80 but to be honest we don't really need that we could actually save that because the stamina system has been reworked your player is going to get tired no matter what it just depends whether you want that added little boost to kick and power and to speed for now i will leave it at that but you could depending on where you want to put the rest of them so anywhere from here on in is going to take two from dexterity so we do have four points left so we have to decide what we want to do right so i personally would decide then from this base with four points left do you you know do you struggle with finishing if you do pump these into the, re into the rest into finishing here and then pop one into dribbling there that's where i would go with it if you struggle with finishing and getting open chances on goal that's what you could do there if you don't have an issue with finishing and you're able to score um with 85 stats 
uh, as his rating. I think that should be more than enough for everybody. I definitely recommend just pumping up his offensive awareness, his acceleration, and his balance to 90-90-90. I think that would make, you know, a really, really good difference to this card. Now, you could go 89-89-89 and then put the rest into shooting to bring it up to this. 87, 89, 89, and 89. That's still a monster card, um, but you can pick your poison with both of them. So that is my recommended builds for a Mario. I would go with the 90, 90, 90, if you were asking me, personally speaking, that's what I would go with. So you're talking one into shooting, three into dribbling, six into dexterity, and one into lower body. And then obviously you've got one into the quick counter or whatever team plays to let you choose. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back with another video quite soon on this to finish off the rest of the Brazilian legends. Hope this helps you. If it does, don't forget to subscribe and get in touch in the comments below with any suggestions, feedback, or tips. And I will talk to you later. Peace.